This is Jamie. <laughs> Turn off the camera now. <laughs> How much do you love each other? Asks Sony Go. So much. <laughs> Danny Ward asks, what are your favourite books and if you have one, your favourite characters in them? I actually have to think. <laughs> oh my god. Um, uh, the Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller and Achilles and Patroclus are my favourite characters in it. My favourite book is Confessions of a Murder Suspect by James Patterson and Tandy Angel because she's just so interesting the whole way through. You should read it. <laughs> Favourite cosplays, favourite movie to watch together. Who's a big spoon, little spoon? Um, sleeping with socks on or off, very important, from Max Hatter 52. Favourite cosplay? So far, I haven't done it yet, but it's gonna be Yang from Ruby. You'll see her. Hmm? You'll see her. Yeah. Probably Kageyama, because it's uh, your most accurate one I've done. Favourite spoon, favourite spoon to watch <laughs> Favourite spoon <laughs> I mean, our first date was going to a movie. It was absolute shite. I like. No, 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 you didn't. You laughed halfway through. You sat there and you laughed when a woman's back broke in half. It was horrifying. It was really funny. The whole cinema was silent apart from him wheezing. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's your favourite film to watch together? No. My favourite film to watch together was. Like, it's a tie between Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> and um, Scott Pilgrim vs. So, the World. Because mm. that night was really nice, but then Cabin in the Woods, you were the first person to tell me to shut the fuck up when I was asking questions about the film. Good or bad? No, it's good, it's good, because everyone else just kind of sits there and gets annoyed at me, but you were just like, shut up and watch the film. <laughs> Who's the big spoon, little spoon? I don't know. I haven't really got around to figuring it out yet. You just, you just stay as far away from me as possible. <laughs> I guess you just throw your leg over me. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping with socks on or off? Off. Depends on the weather, because my bed back at my house, it's shorter than me, so my feet hang off the end of the bed and the covers don't cover them either, so I wear socks to keep myself warm. Jasmine and Kate Cooper asks, fave memory together and how much do you love your children? I hate them. Not enough. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> we love you, we love you, Jasmine. A fave memory? Uh, All of them. I love you, Holocaust. Was fun. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. Egan. Egan. Is it? Is it? Yag. <laughs> Yag and Rose. Yeah. Egan Rose asks, "What was your favorite part of meeting me?" Um, none of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like really cool to meet you because I didn't know who you were before Jace told me. <laughs> he was just like, "Oh yeah, we're meeting a friend." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> you you were really cool. I'm drawing a blank. It was just nice meeting you. <laughs> It makes yeah. you sound like really ungrateful. Bunny Brat asks, does Jace is gay? Can you answer this one for me? Ass. <laughs> that Weird Panda asks, how much do you love Black Butler? Also, do you believe, do you have a gay ship that you just love beyond belief? What is your favourite ship? It can be for anything. I've never watched Black Butler. I has. I love Grail. I has. Spirit. I has. I've cosplayed as Sebastian, but I've never actually watched. I watched like the first episode, so I don't really know much about it. Bardroy is great. I love Bardroy. Oh, the things. blonde one. Yeah. Yeah. The one that talks like a cop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a gay shit that you just love beyond belief? Patroclus and Achilles. <laughs> I look like I'm high right now. Do I can barely keep my eyes open. Us. Not really. Leo and Ravi. Kaya. Kaya Smart, not Kia. Yeah. Kia. Yeah. Kaya Smart asks, would you, <laughs> would you rather eat chocolate flavoured poop or poop flavoured chocolate? Well, I mean, if you eat chocolate flavoured poop, you get poisoned. So I'm going to stick with poop flavoured chocolate. Chocolate flavoured poop? It's literally your own feces. <laughs> <laughs> But it doesn't say how much, if it's just like a little bit of that, like it's not going to kill you. It's still disgusting. <laughs> You're <laughs> eating something that's been processed by your body already once and it's going to be processed again. You're eating something that tastes like shit. <laughs> at least mine tastes okay. Well at least I won't die. I won't die! <laughs> it's like that! Yeah. Oh. Oh. asks, what are your favourite things about each other? Also I'm in love with you both so much. Aww. Aww. <laughs> what are your favourite things about each other? Him. Just everything. I'm your favourite thing about me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just 
Honestly, everything. He's pretty cute when he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> when he's sleeping. Not so much when he's awake. I like your... Smiling? Yeah, smiling. Your laugh. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's really stupid. <laughs> Uh, like, s silliness. Like, yeah. You're silly. And you're, like, super sweet. No, I'm not. You uh, are. No, I'm not. No. Mm -hmm. He did this on the phone as well. He kept on denying he was gay. Chicken, uh, chickens are savages asks who's more gay. I'm straight. I'm straight! <laughs> Who do you believe? I'm heterosexual. Leave a, leave a like if you think that he's more gay. I think I'm gay. I'm straight. <laughs> Christian! <laughs> no, we'll do the Q&A ones as well. Yeah. Mando Pando asks, uh, tell us a story about when you came out. Sorry if that has been asked for Q&A you. I mean, it hasn't really been asked before, but I talked about it in one of my own videos. Um, uh, ooh, my eyebrow. <laughs> I just brought someone home and they're like, oh, okay. I guess Jace likes girls. <laughs> and I did talk to my mum about it. Just really shittily, to be honest. I texted my dad and I was just like, hey, I like people. And he was like, cool. I also, I, I wrote in my letter coming out as trans. With my mum, I just kind of talked about it. Because, and that's it, really. There's not really a huge story about it. I kind of have a story. You it's do? funny. Like, with my dad, it was just like, dad, what would you do if I liked girls, boys, and anything else? He was just like, you'd still be you, so I'd still love you. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. With my mum, it was a little bit more difficult. Um, came out to her when I was 12, she was just like, okay, tell me when you're older, I'll, I'll leave you then. Told her a couple of years later, when I was 14, she was just like, tell me a couple of years, when you're, when you're 18. Um, I went to live with her for a bit, and uh, she kind of brought me into the kitchen, she went, she got something to say! And I was like, what do you mean? Okay. And she was just like, um, do you have something to say? I mean, you're sticking up for homosexuals, and I was just like, I'm gay? And she just kind of gave me that look, and I was like, I've been telling you for years. You're sticking up for the homosexuals. <laughs> the homosexuals. <laughs> oh, lunatic, that's... If you were stuck in your favourite horror film, what would you do? <laughs> what would you do first? And who would be the first person you speak to? I don't speak like that. I don't speak like that. <laughs> favourite horror film, I have to choose my favourite horror film first. Uh, <coughs> the Ring, Japanese one. And then I have a little chat with the um... This isn't funny, why am I saying? Like, there's just the guy behind the till, he, give, he gives out the videos, I just have a chat with him. <laughs> How you doing? How's business lately? In uh... <laughs> what about you? Me, in my favourite horror film, <coughs> Conjuring. But I would not dare to go near anywhere near that house because I don't want to be haunted. Just swim in the lake. <laughs> what? The lake isn't haunted. No, but... The, the whole ground is haunted because the witch so what, what, what's the person or... you would do then? Just not do anything? Um, <laughs> if, if I was in that house, <coughs> the first thing I'd do is grab the dog to stop it from dying and run. I don't like the conjuring. Hey, Kasmari? Kasmari. Yeah. Well, just Kasmari asks, um, tell us a scary story, <laughs> like paranormal-wise, that has happened to you and if you don't have one, something that happened to you, like someone stalking you or something. To be honest, I just watch a lot of horror films, so even if something paranormal did happen to me, I'd probably just think it was my brain fucking me over. <laughs> I'd just be like, nah, I'm imagining it and I'll go back to sleep or something. I don't think there's ever been a stalking situation. I've had plenty of paranormal activities. I mean, my mum has a little boy following her around and he decided to steal her keys and hide him in a box for six months and then as soon as we we're moving out we asked him nicely to give them back and they appeared in Matthew's toy box which she's already searched. So that was weird. Bullshit. And then, and he was standing there, but then mum was like, go back uh, to sleep, Matthew. I'm burped and you just carried <laughs> on anyway. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, but basically there was a little boy standing in front of I don't believe in, yeah. I don't believe in horror stories. It's not a horror story, it's a ghost story. I don't really even ghosts. And it's not. Krampus.jpg asks, you listen to a lot of songs on your story. <laughs> what would be your favorite song or maybe top five if it's too hard to pick? I don't have any. I just love all my songs. Goose Blood. Gum has to be one of my favourites. Gum, gum by, by me, yeah, you have to fix. Yeah, Butterfly Effect and Love Me Do as well. Desperate, Desperate's really good. I like a lot of music, it's really difficult. I'd have to make like a whole separate video for it. 
Oh, I don't know how to pronounce this. X Z H W W D W D asks describe what you would look like as a name and give it a funky name. As a fruit. You know, say <laughs> as a name. <laughs> describe what you. Describe what you would look like as a fruit and give it a funky name. I would have green spikes. Green spikes, brown skin, kind of like an outside kiwi. But the kiwi, the inside kiwi would be spikes. <laughs> what am I saying? And I would be called a shiny four for awful. I would um <laughs> probably be black on the outside, <laughs> like a smooth black egg, and then, <laughs> and then when you split it down the middle, it'll just be like rainbow on the inside. What would you be called? Quag. <laughs> Queer. Other than Flavoy asks if you could be a mythical creature, any mythical creature, which would you be and why? Bonus points if you don't say dragon. Okay. But, dra say, but dragon's but a type of lizard. I wasn't going to say dragon anyway. Siren. <laughs> you stole my idea. I'm thinking yeah, like a siren or a centaur. Probably be like a satyr or something. <laughs> a or a raging like, burner, like 20 <laughs> yeah. yeah, Kelpie. They can shift into beautiful women or men and. They're basically horses, and when you climb on the horse, they will meld your skin to theirs, and they'll drag you to death, and they'll eat you, and they'll just leave your liver. Me. Oh, this is a serious one. Okay. Spirit of Amber asks, what advice would you give to trans people who live with non-accepting parents? Don't come out. <laughs> it's don't. Uh, if you know they're not accepting, then be safe. I cannot like, explain how important it is to just, like, it's shitty, but just deal with it because it's not worth it like possibly being kicked out or abused or just stay safe and just stay safe yeah patrick was <laughs> are you a cat person or a dog person i'm a dog person <laughs> dog goes for the win dog goes asks, have you watched Ice yet? <laughs> no but i might as well have watched it <laughs> considering the amounts of stuff online that i've seen on it I've seen a couple of episodes. I do plan to watch it, but like, I get a bit annoyed that people are all like, this is the first, like, actual gay anime that isn't yaoi, and it's like, no, it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, it's Open. cool, it's progressive, it's cool. But, it's like, good, but. Number six came out in like 2011, and they don't make a huge deal about the fact that they're gay, and they're just gay. Milk and Ask Stream Cosplays. That has been asked in a QA before, but it's okay because there's Jamie here now, too. <laughs> It's sad because my dream cosplay is to do Demon Dean at some point and have this one as Cass. Dean. 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 Dean.